Don't start yet. I need to get out of the way. Okay. You're so glossy. Yeah, leave. We are at my sister's house. This is my sister Annie. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, you darling. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna get to know her a little bit and uh, her household. How do you feel about that, audience? They feel good about it, I think. Okay, great. So we were we were chatting with mom and dad earlier, and this is like super relaxed. I don't feel like you have to like be a certain way. Okay. Um, and I I feel like I have to publicly apologize for not wanting you. <laughs> and oh wanting, yeah. And, no, and wanting and wanting to name you Pinhead. You're pretty selfish. I know. I know. Yeah. Listen, I had everyone to myself and then you came along. I know, and that's what bothered you the most, I think, is because I took some of the attention. <laughs> of course it was. It's 100% what it was. And I'm sorry. That's all right, <laughs> you know. Um, but my sister and I are, I would say, pretty close now, but we, we weren't before. We, we definitely were probably the poster children for sibling rivalry. Mm -hmm. Now, from my perspective, it was A, because you came along and then I wasn't the only one anymore, which I'll apologize again for, sorry. <laughs> But B, I also think it was, it was like, to me, you were always just the little sister. Mm -hmm. And then I think what changed for me is I'm like, oh, I should have just always thought of you as my equal. And the minute I did, then it felt different. Right. But I don't know what you, from your perspective, what, what, this glass is so small. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, from my perspective, it was always living in the shadow of, oh, you're Spencer's sister, you're Spencer's mm. sister. And it was like... Well, my name is Annie. It's very nice to meet you. Like, I have more to me than just Spencer's sister. Right. So, I think there may have been resentment. For sure. You know, I not that, that anything that you had done, but just because, you know, we live in a small town and a lot of people knew you and mm -hmm. because of your disability. And mm -hmm. so it was, yeah, I think resentment would be it. But then, it, you're right. Like, when we moved in together in Arizona, I mean, we still had our differences. Yeah. Because we were still young. But mm -hmm. I think that was kind of the turning point. Yeah, so I think we were, <laughs> actually mom brought up today that, um, and it was, let me just preface by saying it was well-deserved, um, that time you picked me up by my hair. <laughs> Finish, or, or, or do you have more to say? That was it. Okay, so here's the thing that I tell everybody, because people are, would always get mad at me. Yeah. Because I would punch you and kick you and hit you, and they're like, well, he can't kick you back. And I'm like, okay. Fair enough. However, he hurt me with his words. I am not witty. I cannot think of mean things to say, so I would lash out. Yeah. And it's funny because Bryson is just like me and oh. Caden is just like you. Oh. So I have a tendency They're over to, to the side, by the I way. I don't want to say that I side with Bryson, but I understand because sure. I would get mad and you would say something that would hurt my feelings. Yeah. And I don't even remember what happened that day, but I, I was like, Arr! She did. She just grabbed my hair, and I could hear the roots go. Oh Pfft. my god, mom comes so bad. Well, and that that day you also threw the remote control at my head yes. for the TV, and I think it broke. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but she's she's right. I she was physical, and I was verbal. Well, it's the West. You got that West inherited. Yeah. Wit. I, that's true. But then you got the physical West. No, I guess. I guess that's where we're both like dad. <laughs> dad. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> but like, do you, do you think? Arizona is, was like more of the turning point? Is that what, what you that's, think it was? And why do you think it was? Well, I think it was because it was more of like me coming into adulthood. I mean, we still had a lot of differences in Arizona, but I think the fact that we lived together and we had a function together and mm -hmm. maintain a house together and cook yeah. for each other and clean up and yeah. and we were away from mom and dad, it was just us. Yeah. You know, I, I think that was a turning point. I also think that the terms that I left on in Arizona is what kind of drove us apart again for a little bit. It did, yeah. But then I proved you and John McMahon wrong. You did. Listen, Thank you did. You. We, we had a nice time in Arizona, but mm -hmm. then you decided to move back to Rock Springs. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a terrible idea just because when she lived here before, um, it's really easy in this town for lots of people to get involved with the wrong crowd right. and do things that you're not supposed to do. Right. And I was really upset because I didn't want that to happen. So, basically, I was, um, my life was not leading in the right direction. So I was like 21. Mm -hmm. And I was just not focused on the right things, um, not so focused on my family. And Spencer called me up one day and says, my lease is up in a couple of months. I want you to come live with me. And so I said, fine. Because I knew I needed a life change. Mm -hmm. So I left everything and literally like two months later moved to Arizona. 
So then when I decided to move back, it was more of like, you're gonna go back to the same old things, you're gonna go back to the same old people. And he was just being very protective and not wanting me to get lost in everything that I was starting to get lost in before I moved to Arizona. Mm -hmm. It was like going back to the same old thing because I'd only lived in Arizona for a year. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that that was it. He, he was just scared and didn't want me to be involved and start making bad decisions and involved with the wrong people and get myself into trouble. Mm -hmm. And I did kind of toe the line when I very first moved back, but I just said, no, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. So I think that was it. And he was just so passionate about it. And he's like, if this is the choice that you're going to make, then I don't want. Well, I just don't support you. Yeah, exactly. I won't support you yes. in this choice. Yes. It, it wasn't that I do wouldn't love you or any of those things. It was like, right. I think this is a bad idea. Right. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was. But then I was wrong, you know? And that's, that. I'm so glad that that was the case. Because yeah, in those situations, you don't want to be right, you know what I mean? And I'm glad in this situation that that's what it was, that I was completely wrong. Right. When I moved back, I didn't just find this great life. You know, I made not a terrible decisions, but a few, like, eh, questionable choices. And mm -hmm. then, Eventually, I got my crap together and got a house, mm -hmm. and after that, you know... And you got like a really good job. Yeah, I got a good job, and then shortly after that, a few years later, I met my husband. Yeah. And so it ended up turning out really well. It yeah. took me a little bit. It took me a couple of years, but... That's Dawson, by the way. He's playing on the stairs. Hi, bud. So, for me, the other, um, like, big turning point, again, for our relationship was and I've never asked you this, is when you, when Brenton proposed, yes. and then you called and said, <laughs> would you be my maid of honor? Oh, yes. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, of course, this is so nice, but I'm actually shocked, and I, I didn't say this to you, but I was like, I'm shocked that you're picking me. Um, and so, well, because I just, we didn't have that relationship, and I thought, oh, for that, like, position in a wedding, that's someone that, like, is like your best friend and that you really care about. And I was like, why did you pick me? This is really nice. And of course I'll say yes, but like, why me? I was super flattered. And then you got married and that was really fun. Right. And, and then you got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And that was then the, the second time you called and you're like, can you, can you please be here? And I was like, oh my God, yes. Yeah. And that was a pretty intense experience. Oh my God. I tell everyone, I'm like, people, I, I thought I understood what what women go through when they when they have a baby, but I felt awful because I was like I can't be in here. I was like yeah, crying I and like you saying that. I, yeah, that it you was were like to watch somebody in that much pain. Yeah, and you were like like people don't tell other people like you throw up. Yeah, I threw up you, all over mom. You did throw up on mom. <laughs> Not everybody does that. So all you any expecting mothers don't be afraid that you're gonna puke everywhere. That was just my experience. But I puked my whole pregnancy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then, but but before, I'm jumping around a bit, but before that, um, we met Bryson and Caden. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're off to the side here. It was, it was one of those things where we, we didn't, at least maybe from my perspective, we didn't want to push them and we just wanted them to be comfortable, but right. from, from the time they got married, I was like, oh my god, I have nephews now, this is so yes. fun. Even as when we were kids and we would fight, Dad would always say, you guys need to get along because someday it's just gonna be the two of you. That's what we tell our kids. Yeah, and and I think Arizona, and then really at your wedding when you became an adult, I was like, shit, <laughs> it really is gonna yeah. be the two of us, mm -hmm. and we've gotta we gotta yep. figure this out. We do because I don't want to be alone. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> not... a terrifying thought. Yeah, and and that's you know, and it's you do. I mean, you have to, and you know, you hear of these situations where. Uh, your friends or whomever, they're mm -hmm. like, oh, my sister and my brother, they're, mm -hmm. they're mad at me, so we're not talking. Mm -hmm. And I mean, yeah, we had brief moments of that, and sometimes we go long periods without talking, but it's never been... I always found that so weird mm. when people would say that, oh, my brother and I or my sister and I, they're mad at me, we're not talking. And I'm like, I don't feel like... Well, we've never... Not even talked. after Arizona, we yeah. never, like, even when we were to get, like, when I would come for Christmas, we, would, we were still... Everything was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I do think that that's super important because that is all you have left. I think for me, that that's where I really started to get what Dad said. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And plus, I, as we've gotten older, too, I'm like, you're so cool. I want to hang out with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd like to go to the bar with you. And, like, 
those things are those things are fun, and I think I have gotten to a point where I should have gotten a long time ago, where I like I appreciate your sense of humor and I appreciate your kind <laughs> I heart. Have and one. I, you do, <laughs> you do, um, and I uh, what I appreciate is 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 the the fun that you bring. I I, I don't necessarily have that, and so that's what I like being with you is, and that we can joke like like we just it's sad, but we just went to a a, a friend's funeral, mm-hmm. and. Uh, but there's this point where we were raised Catholic and there's a point where you get up to go to communion and you can get like a, if you're not a Catholic, you can get a blessing. And so I'm, I'm a Buddhist, but I was raised Catholic. And so Annie turns to me and she's like, are you going to get a blessing? And I was like, no, but, but my dad was sitting next to me and was like, but dad should. And then Brenton goes, he probably needs a couple. And then mom turned and looked at both of us and gave us that like dirty, <laughs> dirty look. So like those are the types of things that I like, that I enjoy um, with you. So yeah. Well, and you know, when you were talking about that, and I think that it's a completely different perspective because there were times where I was mad at you and upset with you and whatever. Yeah. However, I, I guess maybe I never felt a disconnect because I was always the younger sister looking up to the older brother and wanting to hang out with the older brother. And that's why I was like, hey, Hi, bud. bud. <laughs> Stand by. What do you got there? Tennis. Tennis? Tennis? Anyway, you were saying, sorry. Uh, no, no, that's fine. Um, that it was, you know, like I said, I was the, the annoying little sister that always wanted to come hang out and like, oh, oh, my little sister wants to be around, never mm-hmm. want to be around. Mm-hmm. And, but for me, like I said, I never felt that disconnect because you were always the older brother, like the one that got all the attention, the one that everybody wanted to be around, that I wanted to be around, just mm-hmm. you look up to your siblings. Yeah. And so that's how it was for me. And then, mm-hmm. and, and I, I don't want to make you feel yeah. Uh, by saying this, but I, yeah. I never felt that. Like I always felt like this is my brother, and I love him, and like you know, I'm gonna just stop at him or whatever. But I never felt like a disconnect. And so I think we've just come full circle with that yeah. of the importance of having a brother or, or a sister or a brother and cherishing that, and then mm-hmm. helping teach our my nephews and your kids that same thing. Yeah, yeah. So. just love each other. You know, mm-hmm. have your differences, get mad at each other. That's fine, but don't let it last long. Yeah. It's not worth it. No. You never know. Yeah. You just never know when, you know, especially you living in Canada and me mm-hmm. living in Wyoming mm-hmm. and you're traveling the world, mm-hmm. you just never know. So yeah. just be nice to each other, love each other, mm-hmm. be there for each other. Mm-hmm. You know, the end. That's the end. Yeah. <laughs> and if and things are shitty, go get a drink together. Yeah, it'll solve everything. Alcohol solves all your problems. Oh my gosh. Either that or pick him up by their hair. <laughs> Listen. Can't do that Throw a game of a No. I'm pretty sure that's why I don't have any hair anymore. I called This bee ruined it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. But do you want to like add anything to that? Like, do you want to... I don't... I don't think so. I don't know. Right. What do you think? No, I mean, I think it was good. Okay.